Like all stars in the universe, the sun is not immortal. The sun was born 4.57 billion years ago. It survives by burning 600 million tons of hydrogen atoms into helium atoms in its core every second. However, there is only a finite amount of hydrogen in the core of the sun. For the next 4 billion years, the sun will continue to fuse hydrogen to make helium. As more helium builds up, the core will shrink. As a result, nuclear fusion reactions accelerate. Faster fusion means more energy output. In 3.5 billion years, the sun will shine 40% brighter than today. At this point, Earth's oceans will boil and the ice caps will permanently melt. All the moisture in the atmosphere will be lost. Life will not likely survive and Earth will become brutally hot and dry like Venus. After that, the situation gets worse. 5.4 billion years from now, the sun will exhaust all hydrogen in its core. The core will heat up and get extremely dense, but the sun's outer layer will expand a lot. It could expand big enough to swallow Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. Even if it doesn't grow as far as the Earth, high temperatures will completely burn our planet. Once the sun has emptied its fuel reserves, it will become unstable, and as a result, it will begin to pulse. Each pulse will remove more of the sun's mass until all that's left is a cool, dense core. This core is called a white dwarf. The sun will spend the rest of its days as a white dwarf, slowly cooling and dimming as time passes. By this point, Earth will be completely inhospitable. 